Hi, this is Kyle Korf, Sales Manager at the Garden City Co-op. Today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about fall wheat production. The first thing I want to discuss is the importance of phosphorus to wheat in the fall. Phosphorus sets the tone for proper early growth of wheat, ensuring optimum tillering and how wheat overwinters to decrease the possibility of winter kill. At the Garden City Co-op, we offer several phosphorus fertilizers along with a veil, which increases uptake and availability of phosphorus to plants. Whether it be a liquid phosphorus applied through a wheat drill, dry applied pre-plant with our dry rig, or probably the most popular method of either applying dry with an air seeder or blending phosphorus directly with the wheat seed. Visit with the sales staff at the Garden City Co-op to see what fertilizer and application method fits on your farm. Another important thing is to control your volunteer wheat this fall. Whether that be volunteer in your production wheat fields or fields adjacent to your growing wheat. Volunteer wheat not only is using essential moisture in these fields, but is also a host to insects and diseases. Insects can move into your production fields causing injury or act as a vector for diseases such as wheat streak mosaic and barley yellow dwarf. Finally this fall, keep a lookout for fall armyworm and cutworm in your wheat fields. This fall we have seen an abundance of moths. Green tender wheat this fall can be attracted to moths laying eggs which will develop into hungry larvae. Also make sure especially in sandhill regions to watch out for grasshoppers and a feeding and feeding along borders and edges of fields. Here at the Garden City Co-op we're here to provide service solutions and products to increase your bottom line by putting more grain in the elevator and more money in your pocket.